Hey guys, what's up? This is SJ Balloon Boy. Man, that feels weird to say that. I'm so used to saying Jeremiah Mines. But as you guys know, if you have been following the channel, that I recently changed my username because I play more than just Minecraft now, so I wanted to make the channel more than just Minecraft. So in the background here, we have just me playing with one of my friends while I explain the rules of this one chunk challenge. So, it's slightly clickbaity because it's not actually one chunk, but it's a premise of one chunk. So, the rules are, when I start, I can't leave my chunk, I can't get anything from outside of the chunk until I've completely destroyed the chunk. Which, as you'll see in the next few clips after I'm done explaining the rules, I've done the stage. So, for every chunk, I delete. Completely. And I can't break anything outside of the chunk I'm deleting. It, and also, chunks are 16 by 16 blocks that go all the way up to bedrock and the sky in Minecraft. And the premise of this is to just get see as far as I can go as it possible. But obviously, I, I can't really get to the end. And I can get to the nether, but I'm not going to until the nether update. So, after every single chunk I break, I get 64 blocks that I can break outside of chunks and I can explore. So, say I see a village in the distance. After I destroy the chunk I'm on, I can go explore the village and break 64 blocks if I want to. And this stacks. So, if I break two entire chunks, that's 64 times two, but I'm not explaining the math to that even though it's simple. It's a weekend, I ain't doing math, okay, guy? He's... And... Basically, for every chunk I break, there's 64 bri blocks I can explore out of my chunks. And the goal is just to do this until the nether update comes out. And after that, when the nether update does come out, I will probably be doing getting netherite in that ga this game. And then, the last part is, you guys can suggest what you want to see in my series and as you can see now we're on the clip of where i am showing you what i've gotten so far and this is the point where you are going to choose whether you want me to make a series like this or not and if you do like and comment down below and i will make this a world a series so as you can see this is my home chunk basically the first chunk i spawned in and as you can see the ground's slightly lower because i got rid of all the grass and then replaced it a little bit. This is the second chunk since I have already destroyed one chunk and right here is the border basically. And uh, that's basically all that I have on the top here. So in, I just have a furnace that I have from the start, my storage with my cobblestone, some more cobblestone, and even more cobblestone. Then I have my other stones, junk, wood, and then I plants. I have my redstone, my tools, my mob drops, which I need to put a couple more in, because I don't have a lot. Oh well. And then I have my special stuff. I was lucky enough to get diamonds on the side of my first chunk, which was awesome. And I happened to have a fortune pickaxe, and that was dirt. And now, that's a banner thing that I got a while ago. And as you can see, I did quite a bit of mining. And I made a nice little staircase down, which I never really use downwards, because I can just fall in the water. And I have a little farmer here. Oh, crap. Uh, you saw nothing. Luckily, this farm isn't big enough to produce iron golems. So near a little hut with a clock and a bed. And I have some sheep that I have tied to the corner so they don't eat all the grass. It was so hard to get here. And over here, I have a little... Bit of an XP glitch thing, which I might make a tutorial on how to make. So all you do, for at least I'm going to show you how good it is. Right now I'm power, I'm XP level 19. As I take this block out, boom, 21. Insane. And that's basically it. And then I have some librarians. This guy's got mending for 22 emeralds, which is a really good deal. And then I have a stone smith, I mean, stone mason, which we don't give a crap about right now. Another librarian with fortune three. 
then I have a couple armors over here that give me diamond armor. I'm currently trying to get, find one with a chest plate, so I've been basically re-rolling them a little bit. And this one, I already traded with all that I need, and I got also, luckily, got lava in my area, so I made obsidian and an enchantment table and all this. And I've traded those bits of armor. And then down here, let the f strangely enough, the first chunk I was in was a slime chunk. So this is a slime farm. It's not active right now because I haven't actually finished it. Yeah. And uh, I managed to get a snow golem in there, which was nice. As of s my 64 blocks that I broke, I broke some of some, whatchamacallit, snow, which is nice. And then uh, now I'm going to show you something else and yes I got honey bees stuff like that I I, I ex did some exploring because I'm allowed to explore after I break the entire chunk which as you can see I did and now to go up so the first thing I did after mining a good portion is I did some spiraling up but I'm not gonna go up the spiral because it takes forever so I went up the spiral to see what was around me and what I could explore after I finished breaking the chunk. And as we will see in a minute, we are by some savanna mountains, which I put water on top of so I can jump off of it. And in a moment, I am going to look up and show you what else is around me, which is pretty cool. And oh crap, I messed it up. I'm trying to get up to the top without... The uh, well, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a desert, and there's sandy glaciers, as you can see. And there's a desert village, which I got the villagers from. And then over here, I have a little farm that's got some bees, which help very much in speeding up its process. And then I have melons, wheat, pumpkin, carrots, and uh, potatoes as well. That's what I was forgetting. And I have seven I think villagers all diamond level yes no f six villagers sorry and there are f all our farmers and then I have chickens to trade eggs with and all of these guys are maxed out so I can get like literally so many emeralds from them so many and I got carrots potatoes and melons in here and it's so insane how quickly you can get emeralds from these guys watch Look at all these emeralds. So quick. So efficient. It's insane how many emeralds you can get from these guys. It, oh darn it, I didn't want to buy cookies. I don't need cookies, they don't give you that much health. And this is basically it on what I have built so far. But in a second, I'm gonna show you my little way of getting down, because it takes a while to get up. And I don't want to go down, so we death is upon me. Never mind, I put slime there, cause I'm in a slime chunk. Hooray! So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want me to turn this world into a series, uh, comment down below, like, like, comment down below, say that you want to see it, and I'll make it. And that's literally it. And then I'll actually make this a nice, fun series for you guys to see, and you guys can comment in my videos to see what you want in my series. And I might even invite you to play with me if you play on Xbox. So, have a good day, and bye. SJL Balloon Boy, out. Bye. See you in the next one. Alright. And for the outro that will be played at all of my Save the World videos. Me looking like an absolute bad noodle. Oh. Now I'm just gonna look like an idiot at all the end of my videos. Oh well.